Hey, hey, Stubby here, and we are back live on Mechanical Mastery by Ammonium X. This is a pretty cool pack. I started dabbling in it, checking it out, and I uh, gotta say, I, I was just really impressed. It, it's got a good spin. It, I, I, I don't even know how to explain it. It's, it's just, it's, it's Project E based in an amazing way. It's got a great way to walk through stuff. Everything builds on the next, varies flawlessly, and it leaves a lot of room for creativity. So that's what I want to play. And I think you guys are going to want to play it too. Hopefully even watch watch as we go along together. So starting it out, we got a series of quests. Uh, the overview just welcomes you to this uh, not so grindy skyblock. And then we're going to get into... We can't get there. Uh, uh, so I have gone through uh, most of tier one just in testing. Uh, the configuration you can enable or disable, you know, sunlight, rain, mobs, all that stuff. The ore processing is changed dramatically, and we are starting here on thermal. So, first things first, welcome to this mod pack where we have to automate everything we do. And we got to get our wood and our cobble. So, let's get it. We'll vein mine some up. Grab ourselves this chest. And I'm going to want to move a piece of dirt back into that area. And this was the west way. I don't want to go north. So we'll just play around again. And we'll take this one. Ah, gone. And we're going to put down some of our stuff. So let's go ahead and make crafting table. Put you down right here for now. We're going to put our transmutation table. Let's see. Dirt goes in there. Yes, please. You can go back. Saplings go in there. Logs go in there. Sticks do not. Coal does. And I think that is essentially everything so far. And that's what I like. It's only the base resources that you use the uh, Project E for. And then you return items to get more stuff out of it. Let's see. So we got to put that in there. I'll grab another dirt out. Just get ourselves some more going. Grow, baby, grow. There we go. Thank you. Put that stuff in there. And our next step will be, ah, clay. Yes, please. Next step is going to be a cobble gen. Now we can do many options for cobble gens. Uh, break you do. Uh, we're just going to do a quick and easy one, I think, because we don't really need anything special. It doesn't have to be long term. Uh, so we'll just grab some dirt. And I'm going to extend out to the south for now. And we'll just do a simple one in dirt. So we'll go like that. Make our spot for lava. Cobblestone will be right there. That one will drop down. Water. And the back piece. Just like that, that should work. We need to break this one. Put our water there. Our lava there. And we'll need some wood. Very simple. Just need one to get the job done. And Cobble has EMC. Gives us a stack of that. And we'll get all of the base resources to start with. Iron, copper, gold, aluminum, silver, 
and nickel. And that clears up all of those. We can go ahead and pick all this stuff back up. Fix our dirt hole. Clean this up because we don't need it anymore. You could leave the uh, collagen up if you needed a quick source of EM EMC, but we really don't at the moment. There we go. And see, we can go ahead and put this down. Uh, we need to load all that stuff in so we don't lose it. And we need another sapling. Keep a tree going. Whoa! Whoa, that was almost bad. There we go. Put that stuff in there for now. Maybe you have a bed we can stick her right here. Because that's a safe spot to wake up in. Grab a stack of dirt. Give ourselves some sort of safety. Match it on this side. We're going to be expanding quite a bit as we progress. All right, the next step is we're going to need to make some furnaces. Let's go ahead and go with eight. We need some wood. And I'll stack them up right here for now. One, two, three, four. And gonna let those run. Keep ourselves clean again, and let's check out the. Oh, hello. So, the next step in here, we've gotten our basic resources. We have the ability to now smelt them up. And we want to get over this way. This is actually our main quest line for the first step, and then we're going to improve our automation. That's the mechanic lesson. So, we need to get ourselves an engineer's hammer and plates. Rods and plates. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves a stack of iron. That should be good. We'll throw you in here because I already know other stuff we're going to need. Well, we are not going to do that yet. And we're actually going to take this down a lot. Save our EMC until we start our rapid generation. Leave one going. There they go. Got our iron. I think it's just two needed for the engineer's hammer. And a nugget, okay. It's like that. I don't know why I did two, but we did. Cool. So now we have the basic mechanic lessons. So the way you get your E is uh, we take, you craft this mechanic lessons with an aluminum gear and iron gear and copper rods. Then it gets this basic mechanic lessons. You then in turn craft that into a mechanical crystal and it gives you a decent return. So if you think about it, it's, uh, what is this, four of those ingots, you know, each of the ingots. So it takes, I think, two copper, four copper, you know, a few hundred a piece. So it takes a couple thousand at most 
and, and you get an 8,000 return. So that's pretty darn good. But, and you can sink that right back in. So that's going to be our first goal. Ooh, sleepy time. Uh, rude. Anyway, so it gives you a, it's a pretty nice return, but every level it multiplies even further. So that's, that's the good part. So we're going to want to get an aluminum gear, copper rod and iron gear. So let's go ahead and grab and that and that. And that'll give us the first start and we can kind of see how it all multiplies this way. I'll get all those thrown in. We'll grab some extra coal. And it should be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Put that up in the wrong way, that's for sure. We'll let those run. We're loading up on our coal. And we can check it out. I believe we completed another quest in the ore processing. Yep. Okay, so this just talks about how. Uh, the more powerful methods, you'll get more and more ways to process it. You start with the pulverizer, uh, and then you can get through catalysts for the pulverizer and mecha uh, mechanism crushers, create, and so on. You can't get to everything right away. You do have to work through the different tiers. So we have to get through thermal to get to the catalyst for the pulverizer. You got to get into the create stuff, and everything layers up. But then you get to another mechanical essence, and then... Tier three gets to another essence right here. And then tier four goes to another essence. Uh, this one. And tier five. So it's it's pretty pretty cool, but you only get return on the mechanical essences and base resources. So the mechanical essences are the way you want to go. A couple more. Alright, so eight of each was what? Two fifty six. Twenty forty eight, and then ten twenty four and twenty forty eight. So that right there cost me five thousand one hundred and twenty uh EMT. And then we can take it, we can go gears, one, two, gears, not copper, it's iron, one, two, and copper rods, four. So for that 5,000 E investment, we get two of these which turns into 16,000 E return. Not bad. Not bad at all. Take it, drop it in there, and beautiful, right? But you got to go through that thing. So the ingots don't have E. You have to go through this process to start making them. But it is the easiest way to add more is just sit there and work them until you get to a point where you can automate your first steps, which really is pretty much dependent on getting the resources. There's nothing else stopping you. It's building up the resources to get to that first automation step. You, you, and it is kind of shapeless, so you can do it just like that. And there's more. And we just start building up the resources that way. All right, thermal, thank you. All right, and we got tips for automation. So EMC links, which is the next thing we want to go towards, uh, the, the first stage of them outputs one item per second. Redstone furnaces and pulverizers take longer than that to process one item. Because of this, you will most likely need one pulverizer and one redstone furnace for each raw material needed for automation. Copper, iron, aluminum. Remember to trash your unwanted byproducts such as slag, or they might stop your machines from working. You can use the stack limiter module to limit how much your machines can accept, which is useful so your iron pulverizer doesn't consume all of your EMC by filling with raw iron. Uh, if you're trying to automate very quickly, 
without building up a starter pool of resources, you definitely got to pay attention to how much EMC you have because they will just pull it out and suck it away from you. So you want to do this basic EMC link, which is what you export and then import the end item back into. Uh, we'll have pretty pipes, we'll have power, and we're going to do the beginning of automation with a Sterling Dynamo. And see, everything is just, it's already there. So let's go ahead and we can grab a gold. And I think I have a plank. Do the cheap and easy. Grab ourselves some more. Oh. Ew. One, two, and oh, more. All right, so we got our gold. We're going to need redstone. Grab a couple of those. Yep, might as well make it eight of them. Throw you in there with a the charcoal. That'll work our redstone back. Yeah, I'll keep those out. Yeah, might as well. Don't think we need the plates yet. Let's see, an iron gear, two iron nuggets, and some stone. That, that. That, that, and we can go like that. We'll need a gear. It was a dynamo of the sterling variety. It'd just be the two stones. And this is our initial power generation. So, so you can really quickly just start to move down this line. Uh, we're going to need to get the redstone furnace. We're going to need the pulverizer. So this, I believe, is going to require us to get some tin going. We'll need copper gears. I think that's about it for that. The pretty pipes need some glass. It's just a matter of working ourselves through the different spots and making ourselves some more room to go with it. Do I have four... You up there, throw one more, collect our beautiful burning fuel. Let's see, so the next step we're going to want to go to is probably getting, I think it's really just a matter of building up resources. You really want to start this with at least the redstone furnace. Right, can we do... Let's just pull one out and check. Melting. What about the redstone furnace? All right, so that'll go straight across. Uh, you can use the pulverizer, which does get you a later return on things. I want to say it's... Pulverizer gives uh, da, 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 da. yeah a, a chance for more. 20% chance for an extra one, something like that. But I think for the start, we're just going to focus on small gains. Dump that and dump that. Boom. Cleaned up. All right. Save you, save you, return you. And just like that. All right, let's see. What is our next steps, guys? We are... We've opened up Tier 2 just by getting to that first part. Now we're about configurations. We just need to make our pulverizer. 
And I think this is a uh, a good point. A little bit quicker today. Uh, it's probably maybe a 20 minute episode, but there needs to be a lot of background work. So what, what I need to do, I need to expand ourselves to have room. I need to gather lots of ores, which means I need to do a lot of those mechanical essences. And I need to get several ores ready so we can come back and we can start with all of these machines. So I'm going to spend the in-between. I'm going to cut it short right now so I can expand our island and we'll go ahead and start building up all the ores. And we'll come back on the next episode and we will have an episode focused on both tier one automation in a efficient way that you can at this level. We'll talk about tier one automation at a rapid rate. So it, less efficient, but more return, I guess, is the best way to put it. I've, I've tested a couple different designs. And we'll see where our options can go from that point. So I appreciate you guys stopping by. And until next time, it's W out.